here we go. Love talking to this guy. Fresh off his appearance on Seth Meyers last night, we go to the White House. President of the United States, Joe Biden. Good morning, Aww. sir. Hey, always good to be on with toast and egg whites, man. <laughs> and let's not forget Karen. That, that's Christy, sir. Hey, Christy. I, I've got good news, man. Oh, you do? What's that? Well, so far, I've only tripped four times today. Aww. Four times. That's a new record. Yeah, well, it's, it's, <laughs> oh, it's still early in the morning, Mr. President. And speaking of tripping, last week you stumbled climbing up the steps of Air Force One yet again. And ironically, on the lower back steps... That were intended to help you prevent from taking a stumble. Can you see why people think you're not up to the task of a second term? Oh, come on, man. Why would you guys just stop bothering me about this nitpicky crap? It wasn't even a full stumble. That was nothing. <laughs> Look, folks, I'm the Robert Faceplant of presidents. Uh, see what I did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they told me to throw in a Fred Zeppelin-related joke. <laughs> uh, nice one. Good one, sir. <laughs> but I, I can guarantee you this, folks. I'm a lot tougher than you think, man. I mean, by some doctor's accounts, I've been clinically dead for the last six years. <laughs> but that hasn't stopped me one bit. And you can take that to the bank, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's, let's move forward. So it, it's 2024. In case you didn't know, uh, and you're losing your very own voters because, according to a new poll conducted uh, for Newsweek, 44% of people who voted for you four years ago think that you are way too old to run for another term. Does that does that worry you at all? Oh, no, not at all, dear. Because I know for a fact that 36% of those people who voted for me last time are super old bastards. Probably aren't going to even make it till November anyway. And and if I did my math correct, those dead guys and gals grandkids should all be just old enough to vote. So problems. OK. All right. Gotcha. Uh, Good math there. Yes. Next. I'm still cognitive with the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. President, next question. Now, your dog commander has been removed from the White House for bad behavior. A lot of biting incidents, 24 bites against Secret Service agents alone. Well, if he bites you once, shame on you. But if he bites you 24 times, shame on uh, uh, Corn Pop. (laughs) (laughs) Some say that Commander's the worst presidential pet in American history. Your reaction? Oh, for crying out loud, man. This is the kind of thing that just gets me steamed. Yeah. And, and as far as my sweet little doggy Cujo, their c- commander goes, <laughs> that, that's just not true. It's simply not true. I, I wasn't out there doing that. That's nothing more than a load of malarkey. Uh, what do you mean? Well, look, folks, I love my boy commander. He, he's the smartest boy I know. He loves on everyone. He licks them, and he doesn't smoke crack. Doesn't do it. Ever. Naked, uh, I'm being stripper legs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh, switching topics. <laughs> yes, California please. Governor Gavin Newsom says your age is an asset. It's good and that you should debate Donald Trump. What do you think? Well, with all due respect to the former captain of the love boat. No, no, there, no, no. That's that's Gavin McLeod. That's exactly right. Uh, look, I, know, I <laughs> wow. know he means well, whatever, whatever he means by that. But I'm not sure that's a great idea going, hey, let's get the mushmouth guy who has trouble speaking. Speaking at his own press conferences, we'll, we'll have him go out on live television and get insulted by his arch enemy for an hour and try not to flip the hell out. Are you, are you sure old granite there is on my side, pal? <laughs> well, all right, so uh. we actually brought this up yesterday. So there is an upcoming book about your wife's role as the first lady. And you've joked to aid saying that good sex is the key to a lasting happy marriage. Would you care to comment about that right now, Mr. President? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm always kidding around about that, but it's, it's, it's really true, honey. My wife and I have a very healthy sex oh. life, man. And I don't want to brag or anything, but I probably probably fall asleep on top of Jilly like three or four nights Ooh. a week. Oh, yeah. well, President, Mr. President, I think we can leave out the details no, there. No, really, I'll tell you, with sex at 81, you have to be careful. That, that, that's why I don't take any chances, man. I always put the guardrails on the bed up, <laughs> and before I get started, I always make sure to have my bicycle helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling, Mr. President. Uh, I like to tell people all the time, sex in your 80s is like taking an Amtrak train. It's definitely going to take you a little while to climb on, and every now and then you'll end up wandering into the kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>